Hello all you beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously you can tell by the title down below. We're going to talk about full coverage foundations today. I want to tell you guys my top five full coverage foundations that I have been loving so far this year and ones I definitely think that you should pick up because some of them are actually really, really affordable. So if you're interested in that, then just keep on watching. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel, welcome. I post videos two, three times a week. They are beauty, lifestyle, and makeup videos. If you guys are interested in the makeup look that's on my face, it's my previous video um, that I did previously before this, which is a review over the Roxy X Revolution collaboration. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to go ahead and check it out. I'll link it at the very end of this video or in the description bar down below if you want to see how I did this makeup look. Um, and then also, if this is you're not your first time and you've been here before, well then, welcome back to hashtag diva fam up in the house. So excited for you guys to be here with me. So, you already know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't forget this video a big thumbs up because you know you want to. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you're part of the diva fam. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss a video with me, your girl Senior D, and let's just go ahead and get into this. All right, so I've got five foundations that are right here in front of me and they are all full coverage foundations. Actually, one of them is missing. Two of these are duplicates, so it is what it is. But I definitely want you guys to see the foundations that I have been loving a lot lately and why when it comes to full coverage. So obviously during the summertime, I was more about the glow up, having more of like the dewiness, wearing more of like tinted moisturizers. Now that we're kind of getting into more of the fall and the winter season, kind of going away from that and getting more into like my medium to full coverage foundations. So my first one, which you guys have heard me rave about so many times on this channel, is the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. This is a medium to full coverage. This definitely gives some of your high end foundations a run for their money. They have a decent shade range you can get. This is exclusive to Dollar General. This is only $5. Yes, you heard me, $5 from Dollar General. Um, again, it has that kind of skin finish like, but again, it's more, you can build it up to being full coverage. I've worn this plenty of times, even in photos. Um, it's not the foundation I have on right now. The foundation I have right now is coming up here shortly. Um, but in general, this is in soft beige. It just says that, again, it's just supposed to kind of give it that skin like. Um, and I've heard which this is kind of comparable to, which is my next foundation I'm talking about, is the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. So the bottle components are kind of the same. They're both made out of glass. Both kind of have that plastic um, component on the top. But again, NARS is a little bit more on the expensive side. So I took the splurge on this probably about a year ago. This is $49. Yes, you heard me. $49. Um, this is in the shade Mont Block. Mont Block. This is L2. Um, this is kind of more when I'm more on the fair side, which I'm kind of getting there right now at the moment since it is again coming into the fall season and I'm not as tan. So I'm getting back into using more of my lighter foundations. But this is just so beautiful, so radiant. Ugh, it doesn't sink into like my fine lines. It just looks beautiful on the skin and it is a very medium to full coverage foundation at least for me it is I don't remember exactly what the claims are for this foundation but I'll put it somewhere here on the screen for you guys so you guys can see it so again this is a really great foundation but it's $49 if you really want to splurge I would say go for it because it's amazing all right now staying on to the high-end aspect it is the rare beauty foundation okay this foundation is so weightless on the skin these two right now are the perfect shade for me because i'm kind of in between like being tan and not being tan this is in the 150c and this is in the 210n so this is like cool toned and then neutral tones and when i combine them together that is what is on my skin right now at the moment um i kind of did more of like a light coverage instead of a full coverage today but i do have some breakouts that are on my chin i don't really think you can see them actually but i did put concealer on top of them but when i wear this without having all the, you know, PMS breakouts I've got going on right now at the moment. Um, this just gives me like a flawless finish on my skin. It looks amazing. Normally I, this is like the end of the night makeup. So when I try touching it up, sometimes it doesn't always go so very well. 
but obviously in the beginning when I put this on, it is so full coverage. It covers up all majority of all my breakouts, anything, any hyperpigmentation that I have on my skin, but it just feels so weightless. So that is the amazing part when it comes to the Rare Beauty Foundation. Now this is $29, not as expensive as the NARS one, but $29 is very affordable. So I definitely think that's something that you guys should check out if you've ever wanted to try out Rare Beauty when it comes to their foundation. It's just so amazing. I, I had to splurge and obviously I love Selena Gomez. So when she came up with the beauty line and it's actually been doing really well, especially I love the cream blushes. You guys have heard me talk about those so many times. Love those, oh, those liquid blushes. So good. I haven't tried out the cream ones actually. I have the liquid blushes. I haven't tried out the cream ones, which are like in the little compact, but I definitely want to try those out sometime soon. All right, so it's that awkward time where my battery is dying. I need to change that really quickly and I will be right back. All right, so we're back. So I've got two more foundations to show you guys. I'm gonna save the best one for last because this one just kind of blew me out of the waters. Um, but yes, so for the fourth foundation, I think you should check out when it comes to medium to full coverage, more or less that full coverage side, is the New Physicians Formula Better Believe It Foundation and Concealer. Now you guys know I loved the Physician Formula um, Healthy Skin, I think that's what it was, foundation. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'll put a picture of it on here, or hold on, give me two seconds. It's in my foundation drawer. Eh. It's somewhere back here. Is the Healthy, yeah, the Healthy Foundation. I love this by Physicians Formula, um, but they are discontinuing this, which is why they came out with this one instead. Again, the shade range for some of these brands with our coming out foundations really isn't that much when it's in stores. I think online they may have a broader like span of like colors when it comes to foundations but for me this is fair to light is the one that I chose when I was like more lighter um, but this has an ultra luxe foundation concealer infused with a powerful blend of a bunch of different butters I'm not gonna even try to pronounce these because I'm a butcher them real real bad um, but again, it just gives the skin a very luscious and nurture, nutrient rich, um, type of like face. And then it has a very creamy texture that kind of just melts into the skin. I will definitely say it does. It leaves your skin looking radiant and has the glowy complexion. It is a long wearing, a weightless formula provides buildable medium to full coverage. Again, you got to shake it up because of all the butters. But again, I have very complex, sometimes dry skin. So I need a foundation that's going to have that like help me with that nourishment especially when i do have some of these breakouts where you get those dry patches every now and then so this definitely helps with that but again medium to full coverage full coverage definitely if you build it up that right way and this is 15 dollars, i believe or 14.99 somewhere on that you can get this at ulta or walgreens or any majority of places that have physicians formula you can find this um and then last but not least when it comes to foundation this one I am in love with so, so much. I want to try out more from this line because we all know that The Ordinary is great when it comes to obviously our facial, when it comes to like serums and stuff like that. That's what we know The Ordinary from. But The Ordinary also has a foundation line. So they have the coverage foundation line. They also have like a serum foundation line. Um, they have concealers, which are in little squeeze tubes. That I wasn't really kind of trying to mess with. Honestly, I really didn't like the packaging on that. But this has a pump. So this is the Ordinary Colors Cover Foundation High Coverage Foundation Formula. And this is in the shade 2.0N, which is light, medium, neutral. And this foundation is just a heaven on the skin. I cannot say anything more than how weightless it is, how a little goes a long way, and how full coverage this is. Now, the one that's on my skin right now, like I said earlier, is the Rare Beauty one, but this just looks amazing in photos. This looks amazing on the skin, and you will not believe the price point of this. Obviously, we know The Ordinary is you know, pretty affordable for the most part. I mean, it's anywhere between like seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe like $18 in the higher end for some of like the um, skincare items. 
but this I believe is only like $5.60 and you can find this exclusively at Ulta. They have a whole section. Actually, if you guys saw one of my recent Shop Me videos where I kind of took you in there with me, you guys saw me when I purchased this because I purchased a lot of different foundations that day. I don't know why I did, but I did. Um, but I showed you guys a picture or showed you the area of where all this foundation and stuff was. So, like, I was shocked because the Ulta that I have right now um, on my side of town is actually expanding so it can, like, have more stuff in their store. They're actually going into where, like, the old Pier 1 location used to be, um, which is kind of over by Best Buy and PetSmart. So it's a really, really big store compared to the one they're in right now, which is a little bit... It's still pretty large, but it's, like, they're going into, like, a really bigger building or bigger area in, like, the shopping mall aspect. Um, so yeah, those are all of the foundations that I think that you guys should try out if you're looking for that full coverage or medium to full coverage type of foundations. So good, so good. So again, we've got the low end, which is like $5-ish. Then we've got like the high end, which is like more like $49. Kind of met you somewhere in the middle with like the $15 and like the $29. So it gave you a broad spectrum of different types of full coverage foundations that you can get from the affordable side to more of the high end side. So if you guys have tried out any of these foundations, let me know in the comments down below because I really want to know your thoughts. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Have you tried them? Do you want to try them? Um, anyways, it is what it is. And don't forget to check out the video of me trying on this full face of makeup right here. Well, I guess partial full face of makeup, trying out the Roxy X Revolution collaboration. Again, I need to want to know your comments about that. So. You guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss a video with me, your girl Senior D, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.